Alrighty. Oh, dog meat. Come on. There we go. <coughs> Hello. <coughs> okay. Hello there, kids. Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only. Coming to you with another episode of Fallout 4. Alright, when we left off, we were not here. Uh, well, maybe we were. I don't quite remember. I was doing a lot of inventory management, and I didn't quite remember what I had gotten done with or not. Now, um, ooh, apparently there's a rad stag in there. Uh, when I was talking with Carla, selling off some stuff, and uh, getting others, I picked up a rather unique version of the MP412, which I didn't expect to find. The two-shot version, which adds an additional projectile. So I just moved all the mods from the original one over to this, and now we have a pretty damn good gun. So, who to thunk it, right? <laughs> it was completely unintentional to get, but it is the possibly strongest version we can possibly get. Now, I'm just going to pop this rad stag out of its little, uh, yeah, out of here. Oh, just a rad stag doe. Well, that's unfortunate. It's just quick and easy. Well, really? Never mind. Um, apparently, I can't shoot for shit today. There we go. Now it's good. Alright, down it goes, and take the good stuff. Alright. And now we just repair that up. And good. Yes. Alright. Awesome. Now, uh, we did the thing for the railroad in the last episode at the switchboard, but we still never really learned what we did, or what we got, technically. I had assumptions, but they didn't tell me nothing. So, at the Old North Church, we got to go all the way back there. Alright. I still need to do Great Garden. can't believe I've been putting that off all this time. Alright. Um, Old North. North? Old North Church. There we go. Come on. There we go. Uh, my throat's been doing one of those annoying things. So, as you can probably tell, if I need to cut a little bit, you'll know why. Ooh, foggy. Wonder, uh, wonder what that's about. Oh yeah, well. Let's go inside and find out what we did. Because, uh, no one's really telling us anything. Alright. Go all the way back. To the beginning of the bullshit. Because, if I remember correctly, you're supposed to get, like, a fast travel point. But they aren't giving you it until you're officially in the group. Which is weird. At least I don't remember that having been the case a long time ago. Mm. I don't remember much of anything. I was drunk most of the time. And the new guy patched me up, put me on his shoulder, and blasted his way through the rest of the complex. Since everywhere. What lies are you telling this woman? Amazing, right? That's one word for it. Deacon told me you single handedly secured Carrington's prototype disabled a minefield and wiped out a hundred gen ones so is any of that true um every word he said was true and then some a full hundred i, I can't <laughs> fuck it might as well roll with it like i said boss <laughs> i was expecting deacon to grab a full team including glory to secure that prototype oh yeah and instead just the two of you cleared out the entire switchboard You'd well, insane not to sign him up, Des. He's so right. He made an impression on Deacon. 
He's never spoken about or lied about anyone so highly. Oh, so you know he's lying. Okay. To the railroad. Agent. Well then, fuck it. All right. <laughs> At least I rolled into it, huh? Uh. Yeah. Glad to be aboard. It seems we're very lucky to have you. I'd say. We're in. Mm. Now we need to know what to call you. Secrecy keeps us alive. Mm -hmm. Code names are a part of that. So what's yours? Oh, don't don't give me. <laughs> don't give me any. Okay, Professor or Fixer? Eh? Call me Fixer. Fixer certainly seems an apt name. Your first official order is to deliver. Uh, she, she goes with it. All right. And see if you can use another pair of hands. I wasn't gonna go with Professor because that was just goofy. Oh, is it? Okay, that's fair. I was trying to listen to Kate and Desdemona at the same time. It's hard to do. I guess this is the entrance official being unlocked. Give Carrington his prototype. Alright. We can do that. We're talking Daniel Carrington of Perfect Dark. Mm -hmm. I doubt it. Honestly. But it's safe. And we've taken precautions not to be surprised again. All right. So there's plenty for you to do. Oh, she's being pinned into the corner by uh, Kate. That's fucking hilarious. All right. Is this now a fast travel point? Yes, it is. Perfect. Oh, thank God. That was going to be a pain in the ass if it continued not to be one. All right. All right. So, missions. At this point, we just got to continue on with the uh, quest line. What the? Listen up, everyone. This is Fixer. He did the switchboard off with Deacon. He's a full agent, effective immediately. I'm counting on each of you to show him the ropes. Feel free to welcome him aboard. That is all. All righty. Well, oh, thank you, Desdemona. That was a rather nice introduction. Well, where'd the robot go? Where's the robot? Oh, you're Carrington. Desdemona told me to give you this. An extraordinary feat to recover this, but that's hardly the point. Is it? Without a lick of training and us knowing hardly anything about you, Des has invited you to join. Oh, are you gonna bitch about it? Been nice if she had consulted with her second in command. But what's done is done. And I assume that's you. Since you're here now, we might as well put you to work. What? What? You don't think I can handle a dangerous job? The danger doesn't concern me. Your work at the switchboard proves you can deal with that. Okay. I guess the mission doesn't require knowledge about synths and our procedures. Something you've had scant opportunity to learn. You know what? That's fair. That's fair. That I can understand that. Tell me what you need, Doc. One of our field agents, Old Man Stockton, needs help with the runaway synth. Hey! H two twenty two. So headquarters. Old Man Stockton. Always, That's the name I've heard before. the fires that others can't be bothered to put out themselves. Well, that yeah. Bat won't even tell us the problem. He insists that we get our intel from a dead drop. What's a dead drop? Oh dear Lord. A dead drop is a mailbox. It's a, a perfectly sign. valid it's question. A means of communication for us, so keep an eye out for them. Okay. Make contact with Stockton. He won't give you the time of day unless you give him the proper countersign. Hmm. The current sign is, do you have a Geiger counter? And the counter is, mine is in the shop. Please tell me Deacon taught you that at least. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. You can trust me with this. I'll get it done. Just don't bollocks it up too badly. Things go wrong. I'm the one who has to patch everyone. I'm sorry, bollocks. Stockton is a prominent businessman at Bunker Hill. The dead drop will be near there. Use the escape tunnel in the back to get there quicker. Okay. That's fair. That is more than fair. All right. Well, we continue on with that. Desdemona. I just heard the most fascinating rumor. Did you? The story goes that you actually found the Institute. Been there and back again. A little. Crazy, right? Well, where'd you hear that? 
Deacon brought it to my attention. And, as usual, he won't give up his source. Deacon! You son of a bitch. It's all true. Deacon says you used teleportation. I can't imagine. Kinda. You must feel justifiably proud of what your Minutemen have achieved in such a short time. Yeah! Eventually, the Minutemen bit. will devise their own plan to deal with the Institute. But I doubt your soldiers will place any priority on rescuing the synths inside. I'm counting on you being as passionate about freeing synths as we are. Please, work with us instead. Well, I mean... The Minutemen I'm, are the I'm the general. Of the character of the Commonwealth people. Okay. And time and time again, that character has been proven to be rotten. That's the true. Are tangible receptacles of their hatred of the Institute. Order them to help, and they'd mutiny. Okay. I don't know. Take your time. Think it over. But remember, the synth's fate is literally in your hands. Alright, if you say so, but I know what I'm going with. I know what I'm going with. Alright, well. Gotta go. Oh. oh. So they do have Pam. Okay, then. That is interesting. So I wasn't necessarily wrong that they have something to do with Pam, for sure. It just wasn't direct. Okay, you said the back way. Where the fuck is the back way? That's the question that I need answered, like, sometime today, man. Yeesh. Been wandering around this place for a little bit. Is it back here? Back here and I'm just dumb? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if I was that dumb to get that fucked up. Hmm. Huh. is Diamond City is under opposition control. Opposition control, you say? Hmm. Well, I mean... Deacon! Not you two. Last thing I need is both of you talking shit about my collection. Alright. Grab all that. There we go. Guess that was the back way. Alright. Yeah, that's right. Piper's a little news story. Did say the mayor had to have been a synth. Maybe that's what they meant. Oh, please don't tell me there's enemies back here. That'd be bullshit. Ah, oh, man. That would suck. Nuka Cherry. Alright, well. Nothing's popped up yet. Which is a good sign. Kate, where the hell are you? There you are. Okay. Couldn't really see her. Alrighty. Onward we continue to go. Huh. Kind of spits me out here. Ow. Well, it's bound to happen. Let's open this up. Worshipper. Nope. Clustered. Nope. Uh, Labert got it. That was just a guess. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's open the door, shall we? All right. There we go. Perfect. And get at the fusion core. Hey, lost one, and then we gained one. Well, all the lights are out. There we go. Uh, we got Wonder Glue, and that was all that was really worthwhile in there. Ooh. Oh, I can't use it while in power armor. Fuck. Besides, I think I have everything upgraded as far as I could possibly want it at this point. Oh, well, this was where I came in. Alright. Alright. Okay. I go this way, then. 
And I'm not missing anything, am I? Nope. Okay. Away I go. Wait, is that terminal? Terminal necessary? Remote door. Unlocked door. Door isn't even locked. I gotta find the terminal. No, I don't. That was weird. Was that a bug? It might have been a bug. Oh. Oh well. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna drink my coffee now. Oh. Chair squeaking as I turn backwards to look at the time. Please don't tell me it froze on me. That would not be nice of you to freeze on me. Alright. Well. Went through it the second time. Unlocked the uh, <laughs> door to the fusion core even faster than the first time. And uh, was no problem getting through. Although, to be fair and to be all safe and whatnot with it i uh, unlocked the door that time via the terminal so not sure if that had any play to it it could have but we don't know all i know is it's working now all right but uh for right now i think i'm gonna end the episode right now because it's not entirely too close to the time limit, but it's getting there. And. My. <laughs> and right now, everything else is just moving on to the next quest. So, we can just wait for that in the next episode, I think. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. Share in comments. We can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat. Playing games and getting done with one quest just to get moved on to the next one by someone who really doesn't think I should be there, I guess. Uh, for you.